What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Career Mode Show with a brand new episode. Thank you so much for your awesome support on yesterday's episode. Let's get this video to 200 likes and I will upload the Real Madrid, the Champions League semi-final second leg when we hit that number. And the comment of the day goes to Super Mac Maka who says, Tom, I love your videos and wait for the next video to come out. Your videos make me so happy and smiley. Hashtag you will never walk alone. You will never walk alone Maka and thank you so much for all your awesome comments and I'm reading through all your transfer suggestions so keep them coming in the comments below. In real life Stoke got relegated but in this career mode they are fighting for the top four so this is another big big game in the title race. The big all the big players are back in the, for this one. Let's go! Welcome to the Liverpool Stoke City game. If we win this game we put big pressure on Manchester United and I'm really really excited about this title race. There is still hope guys. There is hope we have to fight for every point as you can see, see Stoke if they win this game they will be level on points with Chelsea so we could put an end to their Champions League hopes here Salah Lamar oh oh Lamar hit it oh how close is that uh, Thomas Lamar I think it gets deflected yes Oh, go on. Go on, Salah. Ooh, it's a good save by the keeper. Uh, early on, we are putting pressure on Stoke here. Oh, Robertson. I see Henderson. Another save by Butler. We are having a hard time breaking him down here. Oh, go on. Go on, Salah. Great cross. And Mane. Oh, my word. Butler. What a keeper. This is ridiculous how many saves. Oh no, deal. How is he? How is he wide open? I'm controlling my anger so hard, but I want to rage so bad. This is the most one-sided game so far that you have ever seen. And yet, somehow, we are trailing. Well, I tell you how, because Botland is doing everything that a superhuman goalkeeper normally does against us and Stoke take their first chance Keita to Henderson Firmino! Another save! I just cannot break down this keeper Botland is insane Keita No way! They blocked it! How on earth? Wow! That could have gone in Please! Bang! Another save by Butland. This is now getting boring. This is getting really boring. I mean, look at how many. I had seven shots already. Oh, I couldn't tackle him. Diouf is just too strong. Cover the middle. Cover the middle. No. No. Oh, yes, Alisson. If Stoke went 2 nil up. Wow, I would have raged. Our left back Moreno is out injured and Robertson gets injured now. Which is really unfortunate, but let's bring on Joe Gomez. Robertson hurt his shoulder. No. Diouf. Diouf! Oh my word. No! Diouf, please. Don't. Don't do it. Please. Oh, what the tackle! That Stoke player, wow, just saved Stoke City from a goal. Great high pressure by Klein. Oh, Salah. Oh, Salah. First time. Oh, the goalkeeper catches it. Oh. Oh, Lemar. What a run! And he misses it! This is just not our day. I mean, nothing is working for us. What is going on in this game? I need to replace the defenders. I need Matip and Van Dijk against the Real Madrid. Wow, if we lose this, our title hopes are definitely over. Surely, Lamar. Oh my God. Why didn't I pass it to Salah? He was wide open in the middle. I just cannot finish. Why? Oh, hasn't he just? And he's combined well with his teammates. When he's had to, he's held it up. Let them support. He's really done all that. Come on, Lamar. Finally! 
Thomas Lamar, let's get the ball. 1-1. One, one. But this is not enough for the tight race. Look how the Stoke are just defending with all their players. I was so, so wasteful in this game in terms of finishing, but finally we got a goal. It's all my fault. I hold my hands up and apologize because I should have scored five or six goals today, but I just need to learn how to finish. I had more shots on target than in the previous game where I scored four goals. I could have scored four or five goals easily today. And Stoke City, two shots on target, one goal. Super frustrating. Lamar was the man of the match. Thankfully, Robertson is only out for five days, which is good news. This is now even more annoying because Man United actually lost to Arsenal. So the title is still alive, the title race, but only just. Had I won against Stoke City, we would be just one point behind Man United. Now we are three points behind them. So we need them to lose one more game. Three points, that's how far we are from Man United. So if I win the next game, I can take the title race down to the last game. And Man United will be nervous going into the last game if the title is on the line. I really need to improve my finishing. That's the bottom line because I'm creating enough chances. And it's weird because I scored 74 goals in 36 games, by far the most. But I feel in, in games I could score 3, 4, 5 goals in almost every game if I take my chances better. A top 4 race, it looks like Chelsea are in pole position, but if West Ham win their next game, they will be in 4th place. So anything can happen. And that, that last minute goal that we scored against Stoke City, that really harms their top 4 hope. And Roberto Firmino is still the top scorer in the Premier League. Salah has 14, Mane has 12 goals. It's here guys, the huge game, the biggest game of the season, Liverpool against Real Madrid, this will be the first leg. We got a player of the month award to tell you guys, and that is Thomas Lamar, who won the player of the month, which is brilliant, I'm so happy for him. And I have to play Lalana and Alexander Arnold because both our fullback, left backs, Moreno and Robertson are injured, and also Lamar is pretty tired and we need Lamar to come off the bench and make a difference in this game. Oh, Ronaldo, I'm so ready for you. Let's bring it on. Welcome to Anfield, Liverpool against Real Madrid, the biggest European tie between two of the most successful clubs in Europe. Real Madrid have won 12 Champions Leagues, Liverpool have won five. And in this uh, summer we, we will have a Champions League final where one of them will win another Champions League trophy. But can we on FIFA knock out Real Madrid in a two-legged tie? It's going to be super difficult. As you can see Mohamed Salah is still fifth in the goal scoring chart. It will be super difficult because Real Madrid on harder than legendary sliders is probably the best team on FIFA that we can face. Here is the Real Madrid starting 11 and Isco and Modric only on the bench and they have Edin Dzeko on the bench. Who is Salvio? I think he's former Benfica winger and Marcus Lorente in midfield. That's a weird two players. Where is Gareth Bale? I'm not sure. But otherwise it's a very very strong Real Madrid team. Let's do this. One climb. Please. Oh, Salah, his shot gets blocked, but that was a really nice first attack that we put together. Marcelo, oh, this is dangerous. No way. Oh, Alisson with a big save. Come on, show me your help. No, one touch too many. Oh, nah, come on. I should have shot first. Alexander Arnold. Cross it. Ah, that's just too easy for the keeper. What can we do from this? Please. Shoot it! Yes! Salah! The easiest goal that he will ever score in his career. But Mohamed Salah makes it one there. Let's go, boys. Oh, was it? I think it was Matip, the centre back, who hits the balls, and Salah picks up the rebound, and we are one it up against Real Madrid. 
Zinedine Zidane is gutted. I'm loving it. Show me the tears, Real Madrid. And then Mohamed Salah is now the top scorer in the Champions League with three or four players. But that is a huge goal. Oh, oh my god. You cannot leave Salah in so much space. Lalana! Oh, what a big, big block. Beautiful, beautiful. The defender goes tight. Oh my goodness, look at Salah. Oh, he has done Marcelo. Come on! Oh, straight at Navas. Mane maybe should have done the bicycle kick or something spectacular. Oh no, oh no, oh no, he's in! And he scores! Who is that? The, one of the Real Madrid midfielders, Tony Kroos. Wow, that's Real Madrid's first shot on target. They, we can't keep a clean sheet and this tie is firmly in the balance. That is a great part. Why did Van Dijk go touch tight with that player when he left a big, big hole in our defense? And Alisson, even though he gets a hand to it, he just can't keep it out. And Real Madrid are bringing on some big guns. Isco comes on for Marcos Llorente and I'm bringing on uh, Emre Can for Jordan Henderson because Henderson is really, really knackered. Look, I'm just pumping Can up. Come on. Good job, Henderson. Mane! Mane! Wow! Ah, I, I was just too close to the goalie there. Really unlucky and Vinadu needs to come on for Nabi Keita as well. Please, somebody. Lalana, bang! No! Look how close that was. Oh, did it get deflected? Oh, it actually got deflected. Then uh, never mind, I didn't see anything. Oh, I think Mane is in. Mane! No! Kai Keilo Navas, please! We are starting to dominate Real Madrid and we definitely need to score another goal. I almost had that. Mane. To Vijnaldum. Oh. Oh, Firmino hit it! Oh, man! Klein, hold it! No! Klein, don't lose it there! I have nobody back! Ronaldo runs at the defense. Oh no, oh my god. Yes, Alisson. Big, big goal moment in this tie. That is huge that Real Madrid missed that. Come on, come on, Klein. Come on, Klein. Klein, great run. And, and, no. I just cannot put the second goal in. Surely! Yes! Mohamed Salah in the 90th minute! He has done it! This is a huge goal! What a mistake by the Real Madrid player! And we have an injured player down, but Mohamed Salah, first time, slots it home. Keno Navas has no chance to save that, and Salah is the hero. Who else? But Mohamed Salah, one of the players of the season. He is now the top scorer in the Champions League. A last minute goal. What a relief, guys. What a semi final first leg. Yes! We have won it! We only need the draw in the Bernabeu. Oh, what a tough game this was. Real Madrid is such a hard team to beat. What a player, Mohamed Salah. Three shots, two goals, man of the man. We have done it. It's only the first step to the final. We still need to play a blinder in the second leg. But I think I played really well here. I didn't realize that I dominated Real Madrid so much. I mean, 14 shots to 3, 10 shots on target to 2. And then this is why Real Madrid are a world-class team. They had basically two chances, scored one goal. We had like countless chances and only scored two, but I'm so happy. To lose in the 90th minute must be heartbreaking for Real Madrid. And Firmino got an assist, very happy for him. Alexander Arnold is out for five days, uh, which is bad news, but at least that we didn't suffer a long-term injury with him, that's good. Juventus have beaten Monaco 1-0 in the first leg. I expect Juventus to go through and it's up to us to join them in the Champions League final. I think that would be also a great Champions League final, Liverpool against Juventus, but first we have to get the job done 
in the Bernabeu, which is going to be super hard. And Mohamed Salah is now the top scorer in the Champions League, and we have nobody else even close to him in the Champions League in terms of goal scoring. That's really remarkable. And Firmino has six assists, Salah has four. So Salah is first with goals and second with assists in the Champions League, which I think is huge. That's absolutely amazing. If we rank the players from with goals, Firmino scored 24 goals in competitive matches. Let's not count his preseason goals. Mohamed Salah has scored 24, so he's level on goals with Firmino. And Sadio Mane has only 16 goals. So actually it's kind of realistic that we have Salah and Firmino who, is, who are scoring the most goals and Salah has 19 assists, Firmino has 17, this is also bonkers and Sturridge has 9 goals for West Brom and next season I will keep Daniel Sturridge, Thomas Lamar has 7 goals and 8 assists which is brilliant and Lalana has 6 goals in competitive matches and 9 assists which is brilliant Wijnaldum has 6 goals, 5 assists so it's vital that the midfielders are chipping in with goals as well Emre Can and Naby Keita both have eight, 5 goals each and Naby Keita has 8 assists believe it or not and Henderson also has 5 goals and the biggest surprise is that Nathan Klein has 5 goals yes 2 of those goals came in pre-season but still that's remarkable. This is where I will end this Liverpool career with episode. If you enjoyed it, a like is always appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you later guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.